So when we think about what are the challenges ahead, right? So we are, we've made lots of progress in identifying astrocyte subsets that could be beneficial or pathogenic. We also have identified subsets of other cells within the central nervous system that are known to play multiple roles in, in the pathology of MS and other neurologic diseases. However, now that we have identified these subsets, the next challenge is to identify how these different cell subsets communicate with each other, because that's important for us to understand mechanisms of communication that are or might be deregulated in the context of neurologic diseases and hence identify potential uh, therapeutic targets right, for these diseases. In order to do so, we have developed this technique RabbitSick, uh, which allows us to do that in, in, in vivo. And we're also developing uh, additional techniques. Some of them are actually uh, under, under review, so hopefully you'll hear about them. And the goal is to be able to understand how these different subsets of cells within the CNS communicate in the context of disease. What is the language they speak in order to identify what are the molecules that mediate that communication and hence to identify therapies or design therapies that can target those molecules and affect or correct uh, defects in cell-cell communication that might prolong or, or promote CNS disease.